Hey, what's up everybody? Mike here with another video review, and today we're looking at Transformers Generations Drift. Um, I like this car. It's a good race car. I like the white and the red. Rolls pretty good. Pretty nice. There's actually seats in there. I mean, it's a really tight fit, but the feet form the seats in the car mode. Pretty awesome. Pretty good detail. Okay, that's enough about the uh, car mode. Take the sword out to get it out of the way. Start the transformation, shall we? Let's open up the doors. Just like that. Okay. Bring the feet out. Like this, and bring them all the way out. All the way out. And then, then, and only then, there we go. Just rotate the feet up. Like I said, rotate the feet up. Why is that being a pain? There we go. So there. It's standing. All right. And take the uh, the front of the car. I'll be the arms. Let's see. I'll show you. Let's go apart and you know, pull these panels up, just like that. And bring the arms out. And bring the arms out. Doors out of the way. There you go. And you just rotate them forward, just like that. There you go. Autobot drift. Pretty awesome figure. Um, not too many problems. Uh, the shoulders a little are a little bit too big, so his articulation in the shoulders is kind of limited. But other than that, it's he's a pretty good articulated figure. Yeah, he's. That's awesome. I love when they can look up or look down. That's, that's always a plus. No waist articulation. Weird. So you can put a sword in his hand here. Cow! Just like that. He also has these two smaller blades in both of his doors. Just like that. Where you can do a little do wielding or something. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> doesn't really fit. I mean, if you jiggle it, it'll fall out, but... A definitely, a definitely, a definitely good figure. It's a definitely good figure. It's a definite must-have for your collection. I like these generation figures. Got Optimus Prime from the uh, War for Cybertron game. That was a good figure. Even though it didn't come with any instructions, I had to learn how to do it myself, and it was a pretty hard figure to transform for a deluxe, but uh, whatever, I'll get to that review later. This is a must-have, get it. It's pretty awesome. So, uh, Autobot Drift. Take a look at his face. It's like a prowl almost, isn't it? Pretty awesome. So, uh, yeah, here you guys go. See you later.